Welcome to Battle Battalions. This little video is meant to give you all the information you need to get rolling with the big boys out there, so listen up. First off, when you log into the game, it's like taking a punch in the face. There's a lot of info right there in front of you, but don't panic. On your left, you have your in-game menus. Battalions shows you the companies you've unlocked, and it gives you the options to customize or upgrade them with perks and enhancements. More on that later. Cosmetics lets you change your player portrait, custom skins, or taunts that display once you've reduced an enemy to a pile of goo. Service records shows you your statistics and how many times you've earned certain medals. Leaderboards show you your place in the overall rankings, or you can see ranks specific to each unit. Finally, the store lets you purchase new companies, skins, taunts, or portraits, etc. You can purchase companies either using real money or using in-game credits. Cosmetic items are mostly limited to real money. Now up top you have your main menu, your portrait, as well as your name and level, and your progress bar to the next level. Next is your premium status and the amount of real money currency you currently have. Then there's the great big battle button, or as I like to say, the get out there and actually play the darn game button. After that, there's your in-game credits, global experience, and supply points. More stuff that we'll get to later. At the bottom is your chat window, friends lists, and a group window if you're in one. To add a friend, click on the button in the corner of the friends box, then type in their name and hit the add friend button. To make a group, click on a friend's name in your friends list, and then click on the arrow to the right. In a group, you can see what companies your group members have selected and if they're ready to play or not. To start a battle as a group, all members will need to be readied up. Getting into the action is easy. First, just select which company you want to play with on the battalion screen, and then click that big bright battle button up top. The game will give you two options, playing PvP against other realer, squishier folks, or playing against AI computer opponents. It will ask you also what server region you prefer, but unless you have a specific need for one, that's best to leave on none. Choose your play mode and the game will queue you for a fight. Once enough people are in the queue to start a game, you'll see the match lobby appear. In this lobby, you can choose your choice of drones, more of which you can unlock later. Drones are very handy and can do many things from provide speed boosts to spying on an area or even disrupting abilities. To learn more, Mouse over the drone's icon. You can also change your taunts and skins here, if you're the type that has trouble making up their mind. Rocket troopers ready. When you get your button to a battle, there's a few things to note. First off, the portraits on the upper left and right. The left side is your allies. The right side is the group you want to turn into smoldering piles of ash. Four, These three, portraits show you what two, company each player one. is using, how many of their units are still alive, and if they're strong or weak against you. In addition, it also shows you the function key shortcut under their name. You can request a player to do something by pressing their appropriate function key and then left clicking somewhere or on something. In a similar fashion, you can ping the map by pressing Z and left clicking. Holding down the mouse button when clicking gives you some more options, such as alerts. Now remember to be careful out here too, because units that die in combat cannot be brought back to life. They're gone for the rest of the battle. Awaiting orders. Yes, Commander. Enemy points gained 50%. Got a tank if you want to be a successful player in battle battalions, it's imperative that you focus on capturing the three main points on the map, labeled A, B, and C. Let's do this. To capture a point, just move units into the bordered area oh, around it. A red border means the I enemy has it, green means your team does, and gray means that Perfect both teams spot. have units in the area. You can also temporarily lock a captured Moving area forward. down by staying in the area enemy long enough. Paused. Holding more of these ABC points than your enemy will cause your team's score to increase. The first team to reach 250 points wins the match and wipes the enemy base off the map.
To better hold these capture points, there's a number of tactics that you can employ. Bombs away. Vantage points. These allow you to see a long ways, and you can fire down onto enemy units. Some units will be able to shoot further from a vantage point. When in a vantage point, enemies below cannot see you unless they use a drone. Grass. When it's not annoying yard owners, long grass is camouflaging units, making ambushes possible. Firing while camouflage will review you as will an enemy unit or drone entering the same patch of grass. Objective C secure. Try and keep up. Heavy cover. Advantage. Now this one's only for infantry, or those cute little motorized wheelbarrows they call pathfinders. Heavy cover will dramatically increase your unit's ability to survive under fire. In addition, it can make a handy getaway when in trouble, as the bigger stuff can't get through it. Staying in heavy cover for a few seconds without attacking will camouflage your units. In addition to these terrain features, there are a number of minor capture points on the map that give bonuses to the team that controls them. The satellite dish shows units within a large distance of it. The comm station will show locations of enemies all over the map when locked. Healing pads will heal your units, but they won't work if there's an enemy on the pad with you. The helipad will greatly reduce the time it takes for your units to recall, which can save lives. The radar station, when captured, makes it impossible to lock other capture points for a duration, and it slows the enemy team point gain. Also, don't forget your drone and skills. You can use these anywhere in the battlefield, so don't hesitate to help out an ally that's in a jam. Different companies get different skills, so remember to take a look and see what it does. If your team manages to keep hold of the capture points longer than an opponent, you'll be bringing home the victory and some rewards. The enemy team will get a nice missile up the tailpipe. Don't worry, even the defeated team still gets some rewards. After the game, you'll be able to see a lot of info about the match, like who was the MVP of the match, or who spent the most time daydreaming when they should have been out helping. There's a lot to see, so we won't go over everything in this video, but you'll at least get to see your rewards payout for winning. Now, back in the battalion screen, you can spend your hard-earned loot on some sweet, sweet upgrades under the Enhancements tab. This is where you'll unlock new upgrades, unit loadouts, skills, and perks. What are perks, you ask? They're equipable traits that you can use to customize your company. They can give speed boosts, damage resistances, or boosts in certain conditions. To unlock new upgrades in the enhancement tree, you need to click the enhancement you want and then click on Research. This uses company experience points. Now, hold on, you're not done yet. Then you need to purchase the enhancement using credits for it to actually apply to your company. Finally, just a few quick tips for out there. Remember that this is a capture point game, not a deathmatch. If you're just chasing enemy units around the map because you're stronger than them, you're not really helping your team, you nitwit. Holding down control and right clicking will cause your units to move in reverse. This is useful for tanks with heavy armor at the front. First blood. Right-click dragging will allow you to set a direction you want your units to face. Great if you're setting up artillery units that have a limited arc of fire. Alright, hopefully this is enough to get you started out there in the mayhem of battle battalions. I may go over some features and companies in detail some other time, but that's all for this video. If you like it, please leave me a like, a comment, or subscribe. And thanks for watching.